To back up Samsung A14 to your computer, we need to Google for Samsung Smart Switch, and then for your operating system, in my case, Windows at the end. So we're looking for one of these sites. For me, it's the second site, the Samsung Switch Apps and Services. And once we go to this page, we're gonna look for a download. So how would you like to connect? Let's select Backup and Restore from PC. And then we have the Windows and Mac. On other sites, these download locations are different, but make sure you go to samsung.com's website. So we'll just choose our operating system, and then we'll make sure that the software is downloaded, and then set that up. If these next steps don't work, you will also want to Google Samsung Android drivers, and then just get the Samsung Android USB driver. This is also from the official Samsung website. So once those are installed, we need to connect the A14 to the computer. Now, if your phone is not being recognized by the computer, first thing is we will need to allow access to the phone data. This won't always show up, but if it does, tap allow. And the second thing is we need to swipe down from the top once and then just clear all of your notifications. And so if we go back into this one, we see the USB, it may just say USB for charging. Tap on this and then tap tap for other USB options. And so sometimes it will set use USB for charging phone only. You want to set use USB for transferring files slash Android auto. And if these still don't work, you may need to use a charging cable that actually supports data transfer. And so those cables are more expensive. Now we will open the smart switch application and this time it should hopefully work. So it says permissions needed. So on the phone, we'll just scroll down and tap the continue. And then we'll scroll down again and we're just gonna allow all of the permissions to a smart switch. Smart switch is Samsung software. So we'll click retry as we've allowed the permissions and now it should connect to our A14. So we can back up or we can restore if we've already made a backup. So we'll just click the backup button here and then you see all your options and then just click the backup button and just wait for it to finish. If you want to back up to like an external drive, before we click the backup, click the three lines where my cursor is at the right here and then choose the preferences option. In this, we can change the backup folder location and we can even encrypt the backup data if you want to with a password. But if you forget the password, you will just not be able to use your backup. So I wouldn't personally recommend that. 